Welcome to That's Gonna Be Hot, a show about hot sauces and other spicy foods and snacks. I'm your host, George, and I'll be taste testing sauces and other snacks and rating them on four categories. Flavor, intensity, versatility, and length of the burn. Today, I'm very excited to be trying out Tree's Knees Spicy Maple. Um, pretty simple, two ingredients, organic maple syrup and jalapenos, not jalapenos, habaneros. Uh, so it's combining the sweet, sweet, rich, organic maple syrup from the best sugar makers in the U.S. with a spicy kick from habanero peppers. Pretty excited about this. As I said last week, I love breakfast. That's, that's a fact. I love breakfast. So I'm very excited about this. Um, do not have chicken wings today for the first time. I do have pancakes, scrambled eggs, and bacon. And one of the reasons that I love breakfast so much is because of bacon. So, man, that smells good. All right, I'm gonna start with my pancake and I'm pretty excited. So I'm just gonna go on, pour some on there. smells really really good does not smell like there's going to be any spice in it so i'm pretty excited to see see how much of a kick it's got mm. not unless it creeps up and feel a little bit of spice coming up but it's not nothing too bad But, as expected, very, very, very good. If you like maple syrup, you're really going to really gonna enjoy this. Um, let's have a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit of heat coming in on the back end of it. And um, go ahead and try some on my bacon here. I'm sure you can probably hear it. My dog's very thirsty. <laughs> really not much. <clears throat> not much to say. It's maple syrup and bacon doesn't really get much better than that and it does have I mean, it does have a little bit of a of a spice like after you eat it for a second but it's not it's not bad <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, cover cover my eggs in it I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting it on put on the rest of my pancake too it's also very, it's a very dark maple syrup, I do like that. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna have to just, uh, quit eating so I don't sit here and eat the whole thing while I'm talking, but, um, it's very good. I'm gonna, Finish the rest of this, probably eat way too much of it, and I'll be back to give it a rating. All right, so that was the spicy maple from Trees and Knees. Um, <clears throat> I really enjoyed this. I can see myself putting this on many breakfast plates to come. Um, jump right on into my rating. For the flavor, I'm gonna give it a 10. I really like maple syrup. It was really good maple syrup, so even if it wasn't spicy, I would still give the flavor a 10 out of 10. Um, for the intensity of the heat, when I first started eating it, I didn't think I was going to have any at all. It did have a little bit, and then the, the more I ate of it, I went ahead and covered everything in it when I, when I finished eating. And it does build up to somewhere around a 2, somewhere between a 2 and a 3. Um, not too bad. Um, I really enjoyed it. And it wasn't hot enough that I would never put on anything again. Uh, for the versatility, 
as far as breakfast goes, I'm going to give it a 10 for that. And I also think that you could put it on, um, <clears throat> even on the bottle, they say uh, the best chicken and waffles ever. We think so. So I do think it'll be really good on chicken and waffles. Even if you took like chicken nuggets or like little chicken strips and you wanted to dip it in something sweet, but it had a little bit of kick to it, I think this would be <clears throat> good for that. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for that. Uh, length of the burn, maybe around 10 minutes. It does hang around for a minute, but it's not, it's not uh, such an intense heat that it's gonna be like an agonizing 10 minutes. It's just gonna be like, oh, I ate something that was a little, a little spicy. Um, so yeah, Tree's Knees, Spicy Maple. So I picked this up at Walmart. Um, I'm sure you could probably find it. I don't even get it at Walmart, probably any, any grocery store. You can get it at bushwickkitchen.com. As always, I'll put a link in the description. So next week, I'm going to be trying out Lucky Dog's Black Label Special Reserve. This was a Heatonist exclusive. You could only get it from Heatonist. I got it in my box, I think, two months ago. Um, according to their heat level in the back, it is extra hot. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out. Got a feeling. That's going to be hot because it says so on the bottle. So make sure you come back next week for that. And as always, like, subscribe, share my videos, and make sure you don't miss next Wednesday. We're going to be taking on the Pocky One Chip Challenge. You're definitely not going to want to miss that one. As always, thanks for watching, and make sure you come back.